Hello, Tea Timers. I got a message from Roy Young who said, I hear that Jennifer is fully vaccinated in Canada. Any chance for a cameo tea time? Well, drum roll, I've got a big surprise for you, the big reveal! Oh, <laughs> I was just fixing my makeup. <laughs> that was Meg's idea. Yeah, Meg's yeah, like, this is my how about if I hide you with the thing and then I'll reveal? And I was like, oh, Meg, that's so dumb. <laughs> and then I was like, well, it's your show. Because <laughs> Meg goes, if you're coming to Canada, you have to do a tea time because all our fans know that you're here and they're like, when is Jennifer going to do a tea time? I'm like, I'm not going to do a tea time. And she's like, oh. <laughs> your thing you do the tea time I'm not gonna be a guest on the tea time and then she made me some like really delicious meals and I thought I'm a bad guest all I do is sit around and say make me some more coffee Meg and I don't give anything back so this is my way of giving yeah. back to Meg my sister thank you and, and to the tea fans. timers yes and the tea yeah. timers and my fans if they're out there yes they are oh Lots. wait we oh. thought it would be funny because Meg and I have the exact same dress we are obsessed with Johnny was as yes. opposed as also our sister Becky uh -huh. actually has the same dress and it wasn't planned uh -uh. we bought the same dress yeah like becky was wearing this dress on our other sister becky she was wearing it on a zoom and i go yeah. i have that same dress and then of course i had to run in the closet and find it and show uh -huh. her like she didn't believe it like she would think <laughs> i was lying and then Meg goes i have that dress too so Meg goes in my into my room and she's like Jennifer, what are you going to wear? I want to like match a little bit. Because she doesn't want me to be like a glamorous movie star. Yeah. And she's in her pajamas. Yeah. Like, I haven't had time to wash my face. <laughs> she, thought, like, she thought we should be sort of similar. But I didn't know we were going to be this similar. And I go, well, I'm probably going to wear this dress. She goes, I have a dress. <laughs> but it, I'm like totally thrust back into our childhood. Because Meg and Becky, when we were young, right? Yeah. We all had long, straight black hair down to our waist. We were about a year apart, you know give or take you know we're, we're very close in age uh -huh. and people used to call us the three musketeers yeah and Megan and Becky loved it they were like we're the three musketeers <laughs> or they say are you three girls triplets I know I should have been pleased because I'm the oldest but yeah. you know when you're 11 or 12 yeah. you don't really want people to think you're a triplet with your sisters because you're all looking for ways to set yourself apart and they would do the thing well first of all they would come in my closet when I was a kid they thought my closet was like you Glamour. know like I was a stylist yes and that my clothes was theirs and they could just help themselves but they would come and they'd sneak in and I wouldn't know what's going on until I go to school and I'm like hey that's my <laughs> I remember true, once, okay, true. I'm bitter, it goes true. way back, I remember I was in second grade, and you know, we're, we're oldish, and there was a stylist to have these like little circle skirts, and you put a petticoat underneath the circle skirt to, you know, make it, make it stick out, and one morning I put on my little dress, and there were no petticoats, they were anywhere, and I looked in Meg and Becky's room, I was looking all over, and so... I was like, oh, so I go to school. I'm standing in the hallway in my like little limp flaccid dress, just feeling like the biggest dope. All of a sudden, there's a big commotion. And here's me going down the hall. She looks like a prima ballerina. Her skirts are out of there. She had, put, she had stolen all the petty, not stolen, borrowed I did. all the petticoats. Because I think she thought, wouldn't it be great if my skirt really stuck out? So she's walking down the hall like, Oh, I know there was like, a girl who had like it. There was a girl in the class, yeah, right. yeah, and she had it, but I didn't know they had fancy petticoats. Right, we had cheap that had limbs. This. Sal we, Salvation Army yeah. petticoats and, and I, I lost all their Yeah, tools. I realized when right. I grew up that they had those fancy ones that stick out on the dress, but I thought you just had to put them all, so one day I... Like before uh, uh, I got all the petticoats, yeah, and then, and then I put was, them on. She was like the waitresses at uh, uh, El Coyote. You know? it's like, I can't you know, remember, but like I might I, have brought them in a bag and right. then did it Snuck in the bathroom. She knew she was doing something bad. When we went on the bus, I knew that they would okay. want their petticoats. Back. The Hall Tilly <laughs> family had to have limp little dresses that day, except for Meg. <laughs> I was a princess. I remember. For one day. I literally remember in the dark hallway. And I'm like the little rag girl, you know, the little, and all of a sudden there's like a oh, and I see this spotlight in my memory and Meg was like I'm fancy and everybody was pointing they're probably like what is wrong with you? but I thought that they were so in awe like look how much Meg skirts look how much they stick out yep and then once I when we that. were in the 80s we were um I was living in a very, very small little apartment. I think it was $90 a month. And yeah. Megan and I shared it. It was a furnished apartment. And it was, um, so we paid $45 yeah. a month. Anyway, yeah, I, went, I went to Betsy Johnson. They have this bargain basement basket where you rummage all the way through and they have stuff they want to get rid of. And there's this really cute little dress. And I think it was $15. 
It was can't remember how much it was. Okay, it was a little plaid dress. But I, I have came a home. feeling I did And Meg and Becky just <laughs> fell over themselves. Like, oh my God, that dress is so cute. Where did you get it? And I didn't tell him. Because I didn't want them to know, but I think when I took it off, what Maker Becky looked at the label and they were like, Betsy Thompson, let's go to Betsy <laughs> They went, they got the exact same <laughs> dress. Yes, and then they're like, they're like, look, look, we can be triplets. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> so I cut all the buckets off of my dress and I put all these vintage, like plastic, oh, like right. red, green, like mismatched buttons so I could be a little different. But basically, we, so pleased. we should find a picture of that. There is a picture. Yeah. You know who, what? I, I bet uh, you Cassidy, fantastic Tilly, will be able to come up with a picture of those plaid dresses. I don't think she will I because she finds pictures Fantastic Tilly is like this great, she does these Cassidy. great fan accounts, yeah, yes. Cassidy, yeah. and she finds the most obscure pictures, yeah. but because those are private pictures, that was before we were movie stars. But you might have posted it at some point, because uh, we, we had, we, mm. Becky and I wore those until they were shreds, because right. we thought if Jen gave mm -hmm. it a seal of approval, mm -hmm. then that means it's good. Oh, oh still have it. forgot. When we didn't do it, because we, I always love to watch, and I make fun of Meg, but not in, in, in a, a loving, <laughs> a loving big sister way, and I say, you always start the show off the same right. way. You go, you pick up the tea, yeah. and you take a sip, uh -huh. and then you go, ah. <laughs> and then you say in a little soothing, cozy voice, today I'm drinking jasmine tea from Murchies. When I drink it, I feel like I'm in exotic Asia or something like yeah. that. Always describe, because I said, I said to her, you know, you should say what kind of tea, because you're like, Ooh, this is really good and special. Yes. That's my contribution. I said, if you're drinking yes. a special tea, you should that say you. where you get it. Yeah, yes. what kind of tea? I didn't say the brand for a while because I thought, well, that's not proper. But then because because really I've been mm. out it anyway because everybody knows it's yeah. Murchies. Right. So this is a Murchies afternoon. That we live in doing. Victoria, yes. British Columbia. Yeah. And Murchies is always such a luxury to us. And they have like yeah. 120,000 million teas, teas, different yeah. teas. And they come up with, and they're very and English. And cream cakes. Like they have the, the we have the Empress Hotel yeah. here and they have like the Empress blend. Yeah. And then they have, you know, Queen Mary's blend yeah. and Princess and Queen Elizabeth and, yeah. you know, the Royal blend. So it's yeah. very, 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 very English. Yeah. Government Number 10. Tea. But well, wait, wait, what, but, but tell them about the Murchies Tea Time Mix. They're going to do they're a, doing, yeah, they're a doing, Meg's Cozy Tea Time yes. Mix. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I've told like, I'm, I'm like, they tell and then I'm shouting you oh. down. Yeah, but, but everyone oh. doesn't watch all your shows. Oh, 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 oh okay. I know, I know. Yeah, they are. They are. So they, and they're doing a thing. So they're doing a four of my favorite. Her but favorite but we, they're gonna, they've done a wrap for it, but they just haven't mm. gotten it out yet. Mm -hmm. But I'll let you know when they do. Yes. Uh, the tea is I, very I, good. Cheers. I, cheers. You can you che can cheers with tea, but look. Look, okay. I got... I, okay, May goes, May goes, oh, Jennifer, you're here. Yeah. And it's very special. And yeah. she knows I like alcohol. <laughs> and she's like... I can, what about, how about we do wine? And I go, no, it's not makes cozy wine time. <laughs> it's not drink wine and pass out. I go, it's tea time, let's do tea. And I thought, oh, wine sounds really good. <laughs> so I said, I said, can you get some white wine? Because red wine, I never drink when I'm on camera because it makes your teeth purple. Oh, I didn't And Meg goes, I have, she goes, I have champagne. She goes, I have. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Pronounce it, pronounce it, say what you call it. I call it, um, Viru <laughs> Actually, never did, did it's it. It's good, like New Year's Day. Yeah. You have them in the mimosa. You okay, mix I'm a little it with the orange juice. Yeah, I'm, I, don't, I don't like. I, it. Have I know. I'm always afraid it. it's gonna pop off and hit me in the eye. Yeah, I don't. We always have it. guys. Ooh, it's it. cold. We don't have any guys legs. here. Okay. Ooh. Oh dear. No, no, not that. That's what she not said. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to get it off. All right. Ah! I'm not going to know if it comes up if I spill. Just do a little Move bit. away from No, your... but Meg, you have to do it side, do, fill it halfway full. Okay. Because then the bubbles will spill up. And then do the other one halfway full. Look, okay. look. See, okay. look. It's like all kinds okay. of bubbles. So I know how to pour champagne. Okay, I and then know. stop, stop, stop. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, see? And then another half. Okay. When I go to Paris, um, oh, or when right. I don't, no, stop, stop. Yes, yes, stop. That's I have champagne. champagne. Yes, no, no. yes. Oh, wait, wait, Jen, Jen. We put... Um, no, no, I've got it. I'm going to go get it. I'll no, 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 we don't want to. No, 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 it's not glamorous. But I like to order. Um, <laughs> I like to order 
a bowl of strawberries or a bowl of raspberries and a little glass of Chambord, which is this red liqueur that's very sweet. And then I sit there all day long and I make my own champagne yeah. cocktails. And Meg likes that too, because it's yeah, I never had it, but yeah. it reminded me of when we went to Paris for yes. my birthday. You know, they and charged, did it, and now I like doing they it. They charge $30 a piece for a champagne yeah. cocktail. Just get yeah. a bottle and make your own. Yeah. Okay, make okay. a toast. You have to do it, because okay. I've been shouting you down ever okay. since the show started. No, no. Okay. okay. Cheers to our cheers. Timers cheers. And to mm -hmm. my sister, and thank you so much for giving thank, us this thank special Thank you, Meg, treat. and thank um, you for the... <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Delightful. Yeah. Delightful. <laughs> Meg, does, Meg, doesn't really, Meg doesn't really like alcohol, but I thought, oh, how fun. I think a little bit. How fun to have champagne. And then Meg wanted to put, she's never had a guest before, so she wanted to put these giant armchairs with arms. So <laughs> then I have them. And here. then she goes, I brought one down from down upstairs. And then she got a, then she's like, but maybe I should use these chairs from the table, which are, they're, they're padded, but they don't have arms, but they're still really wide. And I go, can't you get some like little wooden chairs? I said, we have to be close yeah. together. Meg's like, close together. And I was like, yo, then we can both fit <laughs> the in the frame. So. I know, so now we have a little Yeah, but chairs. now I'm a little uncomfortable, but you know what? Like, yeah, like at the show. I, was do not, you want a cushion? No, no, I'm oh, fine. Okay. I'm fine, but you know, it's okay. lucky your cozy tea time is only about 15, 20 minutes oh, wait, and wait. not an hour. What? Oh, yeah, because we've got uh, 15, mm -hmm. I mean, 11 minutes. Okay, okay. So, so, okay, so Meg had an idea because um, Meg's like, she's worried like her book is not going to sell, even though all her other books have been bestsellers. So her new no, book is called, been. her new book, I said, oh. I said, Meg, do you have a book that you, we can hold up and we'll talk about? Oh, no, she I goes, don't. no. And I go, <laughs> you don't? Well, maybe we'll just talk about it. She goes, well, I have the cover of the book. And she goes, it's around another book. So <laughs> I'm like, that's the same thing. Nobody's going to be reading for the book. So this is her book. The Runaway Heiress, okay. yeah, and you can pre-order it on Amazon, and it's really, really, really racy. It's about <laughs> it's not that no, okay. A brave woman on the run from her vindictive husband faces a dangerous path in the thrilling new romantic suspense novel from Oscar-nominated actress Meg Tilly. <laughs> and so she she runs away. Like if I was running away, I wouldn't run to Hollywood, but this ding dong does. No, no, no. There's nope. no reason for it. Okay, yes, the people have heard my story time know why she got stuck in Hollywood. That okay, wasn't her plan. Okay, but she lands that a job. That wasn't her plan. As a personal assistant to none other than Hollywood's Golden Boy director, <laughs> Mick Telford. He's a difficult client, but she senses hidden depths in her, and he yeah. wants to plumb her depths, too, <laughs> apparently. So Mick <laughs> goes, Mick goes, Hey, maybe we can read a little bit of the thing. I thought, oh, that'll be really fun. It was the fourth chapter. Solid, yeah, but Solid Asylum was about sisters. And I thought, oh, that'll be fun. And, you know, I'll be one sister and you'll be the other sister. <laughs> and then she gives me this. She puts it on my bed last night. And I started to read it. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, it's so racy. I mean, I want to read it, but not out loud. <laughs> makes, makes tea time gets yanked for pornographic content. I'm telling you, it's really racy. I'll read a little no, bit. No, 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 don't then. No, 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 no. Oh, no okay. because it, okay, okay, wait, if I can find it. Okay, hold on. You, you talk amongst yourselves while well, I, okay, this is it. It has okay. to be in context. Okay, so now, right? now this guy. He's got, having a party. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like. He's not having a party. His producer's having a party. His yeah, producer's a bit of a degenerate. Yeah. A degenerate, and this guy, he's a bad boy, sort of like he was. a little yeah. like a Jack Nicholson type, you know, but not Jack Nicholson. But May now, now with him. she loves him, but he's done it all. He's tired of all these new bile beauties flinging themselves at yeah. him. Yeah, like, it gets I, exhausting. Yeah. It gets, yes, <laughs> it's so so exhausting. Like, when I'm yes, in right, his head, yeah, right? yeah. like when, when you, you know, when you right. see the actors, okay. the young actors, yeah, they yeah. do get tired of it. They, they do, you they, know, they get kind of like a weird, different quality. Yeah, and then they get, and then they get married and they settle down and they yeah. have kids yeah. and stuff and sometimes they feel like they have to keep you know having affairs just out. to keep up their bad boy image yeah. but you can tell they're exhausted and it's like <laughs> oh my god not another <laughs> sexy supermodel i just want to be at home blowing my kid's nose but so anyway well, I, I pick it up and i'm like looking for the fun sister part and here's what i read he shows up at this Hollywood party and I just finished watching Halston and in episode four or three or something, I think Halston goes to Studio 54 and he sees his boyfriend like literally fucking another Wait, guy. I don't know if you can say that. Can you say that on YouTube? Yeah, you can oh, say oh, 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 Well, okay. if you can. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll be Meg's first tea time that gets yanked by YouTube. No. Okay. So in, well, well, then I can't, can. Meg, if you can, then I can't even read your the pages from your book if you can't say those words. Put them in. Put okay. them, do it. And right. we'll see. I think okay. you can. I think so. So anyway, okay. this story reminded me of the Studio 54, but obviously yeah. she didn't copy that because 
Um, May, tell, May, May was what? really young. She was in Hollywood. I'm in New York as a dancer, and she had a friend, and they would go to Studio 54, and they would yank her and her friend out of line, even though they yeah. had very poor clothes, not Halston at no, all. No, 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 I wore, I, wore, I had red spandex pants. She had red spandex pants. I had, I had red spandex but, pants, and I'd wear, like, a low... Leotard because they were, lots of makeup on they, were, really high. they were gorgeous and they like, were new bob and, and yeah. they pull them out of line and they yeah. give them drink tickets which is yeah, great free. They, they, were, in for free. they were so poor when Meg was <laughs> in New York as a dancer <laughs> one whole month all she had she had a giant 10 pound bag of potatoes and, and, car and withered carrots and every day she would boil a potato and then for protein she put withered carrots in <laughs> she was on, the, she was on the ballet dancer diet <laughs> I have to walk to the ballet studio 74 in the winter mm -hmm. 74 blocks in yeah. the cold and it was hard Hard when I defrosted. But Meg said later on, she said, you know what, I think that when you're a ballet dancer, you're, uh, they were all, everyone was trying to lose weight so the guys can hold the girls up yeah. above their head. I mean, if they're like my size, it would be like, whoa. So she said, I remember once I came home from college and Meg had been in New York just studying to be a ballet dancer. And I came home from a club because I was a wild, fun girl with my, my fake ID. And um, I came <laughs> home and Meg was under the blankets and she was shivering and she was like, oh, oh, oh. And I go, Meg, what? What's what's wrong? Oh, hungry, so hungry. <laughs> and I go, I go. They would play us every Saturday. I go, Meg, do you want an apple? She's like, yes, apple, apple, apple. And I run downstairs. I get an apple. I go upstairs. I run up. I go, Meg, I have an apple for you. This little emaciated hand whips out from under the covers, grabs the apple. I hear a sound like. <laughs> I'm like, one second later, the hand reaches out. There's a stem and like 10 seeds. <laughs> she adds it to me. And the next morning I said, oh, Meg, you were so hungry last night. I I'm glad we had an apple in the fridge. She goes, apple? And I go, I go yes, I, uh, you were so hungry. I gave you apple. You ate it in about 37 seconds. She goes, that's why I can't lose any weight. You're trying to sabotage me. You're feeding food in my sleep. But, you know, we grew up yeah. so poor. The idea of not eating yeah. when you had food was such a bizarre idea to me. Like, yeah. I couldn't even wrap my brain around it. So I was super skinny. She was very, very As skinny. a ballet dancer, As we a got ballet weighed dancer. every Saturday. And that was in the 70s. So they when were really... Meg, like, Meg, Delta Kirkland was the ideal When Meg time. and I started... Yeah. Well, you know, when we were young, we were very poor. And very, 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 very poor. But my yeah. mother thought arts and culture. She always wanted to raise exceptional children. And she did. Yeah. She thought we're very important. So even though we only had one pair of shoes, we had to take off when we got home. Yeah. So we didn't wear them out. We couldn't wear them out because they had to be handed on to us. And we were like, you know, eating mm -hmm. things that we found in the yard like I found some mushrooms you know basically but still our mother managed to scrape together money yeah. for us to see the ballet yeah. or see the theater and that's where when if you come see me in a play I'm always yeah. talking really loud and looking up because I want the little poor kids yeah. in the very last row to be able to hear me because we were always in the very last row yeah. of the balcony yeah. the, the cheap the cheap seat yeah so um what was I saying about what was I telling that about because I was talking about when we were poor, all we the were poor. very poor. Oh, and then we, and, and being very poor. Oh, so my mom, <laughs> then we got a little bit wealthier because my mom got divorced. <laughs> she got rid of some dead weight. And we moved to Victoria. And it was always my dream and my mom's dream also. Uh, for us to, to be a ballet dancer. Yeah, so uh, we we got registered, and but we got registered in a class with four and five year olds because we were beginners. <laughs> and I was like, me and Becky were these big galumphing hippopotamuses and I was so bad. It's the little girls are like spinning and twirling. And, and you know, and then the teacher's correcting our form like you great big girl clomping around in the back. Extension, extension. But Meg was just in her own little world and she was like, woo. So and much. she just, Becky and I dropped out. We didn't we like being the big, the big dumb girls in the class and Meg just took off and when she well after a few years she got offered uh, a position in a ballet company but she got a scholarship in New York with this woman named Madame Darvish who was one of the great ballet teachers and Madame Darvish said to me if you stay with me six more months you I will make you a prima ballerina. Oh, no, she didn't say that. Okay, I'm ready to say no, no. She I, did no, say no, if you no. stay with me, I, you can be a prima ballerina. I didn't, no, no, no. She, that, okay, no, she didn't say that. But, 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 did, but she, she did put me on full scholarship. And then I was on full scholarship mm -hmm. with Melissa Hayden. I remember, I remember the phrase, I she can said, make you a prima ballerina. Don't go off with that ballet company. You need to study with well, me. Well, she did say, longer. yeah, they did say, and don't go off with the ballet company. But, and you will be a prima ballerina. Oh, well, maybe she did not I remember, remember that. that. Meg doesn't remember because uh, she's so uh, humble. Uh, but I remember uh, that because I was like, prima ballerina? What is uh, that? I wouldn't need Or be, be, maybe she said a better company. Or, of, no, she did not say that. Meg's being humble. She said, you have the ability to be a prima ballerina. And the reason why Meg was so good 
because she wasn't as technically proficient as some of those girls who had been dancing since they were four, but she put so much emotion into her dance. Like you really felt things when you saw her dance. Like myself, I felt jealousy, but <laughs> other people felt joy, and, you know, sadness and stuff. But that's why she was really good. And that's why she's a, an amazing actress because she awesome. just really throws her emotions into her art. Aww. So, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to throw them into my books now. And now she throws them into her books <laughs> like... <laughs> okay, so last night she's like, she gave me this chapter. And I was going... First of all... Well, I thought we could take turns because yeah, there's a lot of this, people yeah, in the chapter. But this, so is the, could... this is the first um, paragraph <laughs> my eyes fell on and I was like, boing. <laughs> like, make it so sweet and she has her tea time. And she talks in a little bit. Like, it's time for cozy tea time. <laughs> okay. So here's the guy, our lead guy. He's the actor. It's in his, that used it's to in his point of view. So of course it's going to sound different mm -hmm. than me. Right? Okay. <laughs> All right. They, oh, okay. Here's the guy. Okay. He goes, damn. Clearly there was more than one woman needing, I'll do it in a, a guy voice. <laughs> okay. One woman needing removal from his sanctuary. Great. Because he comes home, there's a big wild party at his house. I guess. If Mikhail de Gaza is probably a couple of a hookers, Peterson is <laughs> sick on in the moment the Mercedes spewed the gaggle of working girls on his driveway. He straightened, exhaled, and exited the bathroom. Hey, here's the man of the hour, squealed a peroxide blonde who was wearing a sheer tank top, a skin-tight aqua leather mini, and clear platform shoes with goldfish swimming inside. What luck! And me all hot and bothered and ready to party. She flung herself onto his bed. Her braless double D's remained pointing skyward, a clear indication that a surgeon was responsible for her bountiful breasts. She struck a pose that would have any normal red-blooded man's tool leaping to That's attention. Not so bad. That's not so bad. Tool. What she didn't realize is that type of porn star sexuality always worked as a highly efficient cock blocker for Mick. The blonde shifted That's her of body, background. her long legs rubbing against each other like a cat in heat before she let them spread and licked her pouty lower lip. Ah, the old no undies maneuver. He glanced away. I was like, I can't read this. I was like, I was like, this is really racy. I was like, maybe I'll read it late at night with my vibrator, but I don't want to, I don't want to read it out loud. No, but, no. but then, yeah. but it, it's, it's, it, the, it, it, but then I read the whole thing. It's yeah. very, it's really riveting. Yeah. And I can't wait to read the whole thing, but I thought that maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm sweating. Like, oh, I'm sweating. To read I'm sorry. You have to have it in context. He, right. he, he grew up, he grew yeah. up in, in a, in a place where they had working girls. So he, yeah. he, different things work for him, but also mm -hmm. it's to kind of set up because then she arrives and she's going to be his assistant yeah. uh -huh. and she's like, you know, and don't give away the end of the story. Okay. Yeah. 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 Tell yeah. Who yeah. The yeah. Is. yeah. So, so anyway, but I haven't all. read it anyway, but if you want to hear more of that, the, no, 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 it's not. That's only a little the tiny runaway, bit. The runaway heiress Meg Tilly. And but, you know what? But I know. Only a tiny no, little no. Bit. I've read Meg's books, yeah. and so I'm sure there's a lot more graphic writing than that because. Oh Sol no, no, yes. When Sol is, up, yeah, Sala's Island is it's like, oh my god, god. oh my god. Yeah, I know, but that's only because. Oh, okay. Geez. But no, 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 because it's for it's for I only. I never heard of that I only position. Put, <laughs> no, the no, yeah. no, I only put it in like uh, when it it furthers the story because mm. in relationships. You go, go to this point, and then mm. that's a point where mm. where there's there intimacy where you have goes, to where you have to go further. I mean, right. or, everybody or can't be Carol Channing and her husband. Some people have to have sex. <laughs> oh, do they not have sex? She said she hadn't had sex in like forty years when she yeah. was filing for a divorce because her husband was gay. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, like, oh. yeah wow, David forty Gaston. years. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Right. So anyway, oh, also oh, Mix husband. Wait, this is the longest tea time okay, we've ever done. Okay, but we'll stop. Okay. But I just want to say, Mix okay. husband Don Calame, he's really funny. Yeah. He wrote this book here. It's YA for boys, reluctant readers, reluctant readers. Yeah, and it just came out. No, no, it's out in October. It's out in October. Yeah, this is just an arc. That's oh. what I said. Oh, it, it okay. comes out in October, and and. 
um, mm. readers like librarians and parents and kids, mm -hmm. boys, teen boys, mm -hmm. really. His books are for teen boys. And I like so. to hold things up because I have my pandemic nails that are all broken and mangy. You, oh, your nails look pretty. I know, no, but you so I have really long talents. Your but, nails look way better than mine. But anyway, Dawn is really funny. I've been yeah. here. They've been feeding me so well. And what I love about Dawn, her husband, because I know she doesn't talk about it too much, he has an amazing sense of humor. Yeah. And um, it, I'm used to, because my boyfriend, Phil, Phil is really funny, but a lot of my jokes he kind of doesn't get. So when I say something I think is funny, I have to laugh really hard. Like, <laughs> just to cue him that it's a joke. Like, I'll say something and I'll be like, ha, 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 ha. And I was about to do that. I made, like, a little joke, and I was about to do the laugh, and I heard someone laughing, and it wasn't me. <laughs> and Doc was laughing. And he got my joke, and I was like, oh, this is very satisfying. Now, other people laughing at me because I was in lockdown. For 13 months, I didn't leave my house. So it's just me and Phil. Mm -hmm. And I grew to love Phil so much more, which I didn't yes. think was possible. I know. And you were saying the same, same thing with Don. Because when you're with somebody and they're the only person that you have... I don't know. You just you have to get close. Yeah, you, know, you have to evolve or die. And you know that you right. you can rely on them. Like a lot of people evolve right. or die, and mm -hmm. some people are like, mm -hmm. no way. Like I I have several. I know several people have been in like mm -hmm. 20, 30 year relationships, and they're like, we're done. Yeah, and a lot of people divorced. I know got divorced yeah. during di divorced yeah, during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm here with Meg, and then I'm yeah. going off to do my Chucky movie. Really miss my man, but Meg and Don, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like they're in a competition for Top Chef of America. Like every night, the most amazing food. Um, it's nice to it's see Missy. When I saw when I saw Meg the first day, I go, even though I'm totally vaccinated and she hasn't yeah. left the house in like over a year. I was like, I'm no hugs. Hug I was like, my arm no, but I go, around. I was like, no hugs, no hugs. Yeah. But it wasn't because I was nervous. I just don't like to hug people. <laughs> but I'll, I'm hug I just hugged my sister me. now on camera. So yeah. everyone will say, what a loving sister. <laughs> Aw, I love my sister, <laughs> Meg. Yeah, She's too. the best. Um, but this is, this is like a gift for me because I, when I yeah. started tea times, I'm yeah. like, I'm never going to do a Meg's tea time. Because I'm going to see the comments. They're like, when's your sister going to be on tea time? I'm like, Meg's doing it. She's great. She's great by herself. <laughs> I um, make so probably like I'm not gonna bring anybody else on my nice no, cozy tea you. times to like scream at me and no. tell all my secrets. <laughs> no, thank you so much. It is really I'm nice. really happy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we should toast with no, no, no. Oh. We should toast with the champagne oh, wait, wait, since we have oh, it okay. right there. Make okay. always pours yourself a drink and then puts it down and forgets about it. <laughs> yeah. I never forget about my drink. Okay. okay. Happy tea time. Love you. I love happy Meg. tea time. I love all Meg's okay. tea time subscribers. Buy Meg's book, The Runaway Harris. You yes. can pre-order yeah. it on Amazon. July twenty seventh. So by, and buy Don Calame, her husband's book called For Your Teen Boys. For Your Teen Boys or for yourself. Or for yourself. Yes. Lots of grown up men like it too. Also, you can pre order on Amazon? Yes, yes. Pre order on Amazon. Yes. It's called um, the, the, Delusionist. the Delusionist. The Delusionist. And I like it because in the cover art, there's cards. And you know, I love cards. And there's the guy, and then who he is, and mm -hmm. who he thinks he is. And I, I'm sure I'm going to love this because I love stories about Hollywood. It's and got good twists and turns. Good twists and turns and good sex scenes, I'm sure. It does. So. It does. But later on, that those later, weren't. Yes. That was just like, that was just like, oh, this is the world he's coming from. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Bye. Bye. Bye, tea timers.